So now we have a floor plan uploaded into our new project. Let's take a look at how we import 3D data. So I'm going to click the button. I'm going to upload from my computer. And I'm going to pull up this uh, corresponding point cloud here, which is the hospital level one. I can name this here. So I'm going to call this level one, I'll call this uh, U UTSW. And I'm going to associate that to our original floor plan. If you have multiple floor plans, you can associate the point cloud with a different floor plan. And if you have a model that you're uploading to and the point cloud and the model are already aligned into the same coordinate system, you can check this on as being georeferenced, and then this will automatically drop the point cloud and the model into the same location with no further alignment of the point cloud necessary. However, in this case, I don't have a model, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. We'll do a manual alignment of the sheet to the point cloud in the next step. If you look up in your cloud activity button, we can see the progress that uh, the point cloud is currently uploading. And then when it's finished, it will take some time to process. Now we can see the status has changed and it's now showing as fully uploaded and currently processing. And our processing and upload is complete and we've got our confirmation right here. So now let's take a look over in the project tree and you can see that we have our floor plan shown. So now we can see a 4D session folder has been added and we can see our point cloud contained within that. Now there is an exclamation point here. This is a reminder that we still need to align our sheet to our point cloud. So to do that, you can simply choose the align And this brings you into the alignment window. So there's a couple of things around the interface. If this is the first time that you are attempting to do this, we do have a tutorial which will walk you through the stages um, with some videos over on the right hand side. And you can see the floor plan and you can also see the point cloud which is shown in blue over top and you can see that they are not aligned. The scaling is not correct. And in the bottom corner, we've got an overview of what the 3D image of the point cloud looks like. So now what we want to do is change the scale of the sheet or the floor plan to match the point cloud. So first I'm going to zoom in and look for an identifiable area on the point cloud. So maybe it's choosing one of the corners, one of the columns, um, corner of a building, a door frame, anything that you can find in the point cloud that's also on your sheet. So I think this is going to be up in the corner here. And you can see by dragging this around, you can see that the scale of this is way off. So by placing one marker, I've been able to drag the point cloud. I've been able to position the sheet, but the scale's still off. So by placing a second marker, it allows me to drag the point cloud. Now, bear in mind, it appears that we're scaling the point cloud, but we're not. We're actually just finding two aligned points and then the sheet will be scaled up to match the point cloud. So you can just drag these into position and you should have alignment throughout. And if you want to make any adjustments to this, you can just simply right click and the marker goes away. And then you've got one, you can see now we're moving this, we're just dragging it, we're not changing the scale. So one marker is just a position. If you add a second marker, you're enabling scaling. So I'm gonna go back to the corner over here and just make sure everything's aligned. And when you're happy with the alignment, you can just look up on the top right hand and click the next button. So now we're gonna set the elevation and to do that, we want to align the bottom of the point cloud with the top of the sheet. So you can either use the sliders to drag that up and down into the position that you would like, or let me just uh, elevate this a little bit just to illustrate this a little better. If you double click a point on the bottom of the point cloud, it should align it directly with the sheet. When your alignment's complete, 
you can see the point cloud no longer has that annotation, the exclamation mark. When we jump into 3D overview, you can see the point cloud is uh, aligned to the sheet.